Hello guys and welcome, it is the SRV2 Dude here today bringing you yet another episode of uh, the Splatoon 2 single player. So, um, the last time we were after off, we started on Sector 3, we've done like half of it right now. And basically, in all honesty, I was getting... Why can't I see myself? <laughs> in all honesty, in the last episode, I was just getting tired. You know, I've been had playing, playing single play for about three hours. And, you know, sometimes if you get burnt out, you just got to stop and just pick up where you left off at. And this is what we're doing on today. But I'm starting right here at the Ammo, uh, ammo Knight and Sansa Fire. Because I would like to... I actually can't do it, actually. Never mind. <laughs> I was expecting to, you know, maybe level up my gear, but I mean, I guess I can do it with my ink tank, but you know what? Yep, let's do it with my ink tank. Just level that up just because we can. I could do it with the other weapons, but of course, I mean, I, I wouldn't be able to afford them anyway, so it doesn't even matter. So, leveled up the ink tank, our ink tank, and uh, we are going to be progressing into Sector 3. And to do that, we can just press this and just launch our way over there. Uh, we've we done, we've done these three. Wait, no, yeah, we've done 10, 11, 12. Now we need to do 13, 14, 15, and 16. And then eventually, oh wait, no, there's no 16. We just need to do 13, 14, and 15. Because there's a boss kill. Where is there 16? I don't know, but I'm going to go in there. And I shall see you guys there. And uh, we have landed into... Uh, 13. Just gonna go right into it. Don't know what to expect. But, uh, Shel we do have a Sheldon's request, so I'm most- we most likely will receive a new weapon. Maybe the brush? Would it be your brush? What is it today, Sheldon? Let us know. Oh, the Splatling! Alright, cool. So this is the Hero Splatling. Uh, if you guys don't know what a Splatling is, you basically have to hold the charge. And then let go, and then you'll fire a bunch of ink. It's basically the Gatling gun of Splatoon 2, or Splatoon in general. So, it's pretty cool. Don't run as fast. Since multiplayer, I don't even, I mean, I don't know if... Sorry. Like, this was, um... What am I trying to say? In the multiplayer, run speeds... I don't know if anybody else has noticed, but run speed seems a lot slower on a Splatling than it has before in Splatoon 1. Like, I guess anyone who has played Splatoon... And has uh, played a bunch of the Splatling guns and, you know, the meta on that was to, you know, use a bunch of, um, use a bunch of run speed on it so you're really mobi mobile. And, uh, for some reason in Splatoon 2, it's just like, it, like, run speed just doesn't have the same effect. Uh, I mean, the most I've ever put on is, like, two mains, but, like, still, like, in Splatoon 1, when I used to put, like, two mains of run speed... It felt like it'll do like such a difference, but like in Splatoon one, it, in Splatoon two, it doesn't really do too much. Now, I like what they've done here. It's like, oh wow, okay, so that's what that does. I like what they've done there. Like they're putting octo snipers against stuff because the devs know that the sniper or the splatlings' uh, weakness is to snipers. So I do like that. You know, attention to like they've been listening. They've been playing the game enough to know. Uh, you know, they gotta be careful about that type of stuff. Or oh, Splatling's gotta be careful. Now, I'm thinking, am I supposed to go over here? Because I feel like on the left side, there might be... There might be some sort of splat... Uh, secret scroll I'm missing. So, I'm just gonna continue painting all of this. Alright, now I'm super suspicious. What is this? There is a Sardanium up there. So how do I get up there? Oh wait, there's a wall over here. Damn, I'm, I'm gonna have to make the biggest leap. Yeah, I'm gonna- okay, I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna go down. Let's try this again! Alright. So basically what they want me to do is... Oh, actually, what's over here too? If I shoot this... Nothing's over there, okay. But if I shoot this... To make sure this is kept up. And I wanna shoot it on... I wanna shoot it on this platform. And then... Ink that wall. Ink that wall enough so I can actually get up there. But, okay, cool. Actually, probably didn't even need to do that, but... We are up here now. And I feel like... I feel like there's some sort of secret over there. Hmm. Not too sure. I'll come back to that. Okay, it doesn't seem like it. Alright. 
I just I just had to jump and take a look because some sometimes stuff like that is really suspicious to me. So um, still looking for that scroll. We, we got the sardinium, so everything's good. But that scroll is another thing that we're looking for. We we'll just shoot all these guys down so they don't give us any trouble. Oh, okay. Let me go through. Thank you. All right. So we got one of these. These are grillers, I believe. I can't actually remember. In sa in the uh, salmon run, those are known as grillers. They looked actually a lot different. Uh, can't do anything about that. Do I have a key? I don't have a key. So I'm gonna guess. I need to find this key in this area right here. Now this is a little awkward. Hmm. I did see a box on the top, and it makes me a little bit suspicious. Yep. Okay. So I need to find a way out to get up there. Hmm. Okay. What are these two areas right here? So I want to find a way how to get onto the top over there. So, at this point in time, I have no clue. I can somehow paint this. I gotta be careful about this too. Oh my god! Okay. One second. One second. Alright. So I have still to do that. Okay, so I don't want to go yet. Ooh, okay. I now I know. Now I know. Everything's making sense now. Three, two, one, go. Hooked. Alright, now I need to make myself go over there. And then when I am close enough, I shall be able to obtain that scroll. So, here we go. There we go. Awesome. Alright, sick. Now we can progress and just complete the level. No, I don't know what else to say after that. The Splatling is a pretty slow weapon when uh, you are just playing it with mount run speed and stuff like that. So this is pretty much why we're moving so slow through this level right now because it's just like you know this is just this is just the pace that you have to go at. I mean, not really much you can do, but trying our best. Okay, I'm gonna shoot the target here. I really wonder how, like, every other weapon's gonna go through that. Mm. One second. Okay. Okay. That's a big, uh, really, whatever that is. How am I gonna get myself past? Okay. Does he go this way? Yeah, he does. I can just leap over here. Yep. Cool. Okay. I wanna go to the other side. They're located onto me. Let me go for Thank you. Cool. Alright, we're up here now. Uh, of course. So I'm gonna have to platform my way from this dude to the other one. Go on. Yep, I'm going on. I'm gonna have to shoot that thing up there too. So that's perfectly fine. I just have to get close enough to it. Can I throw a bomb at it? Yes, I can. Okay. Discovery right there. If I can just land onto this guy and then we should be all good. Just a shield this time. There we go. And the snapfish is right here. Cool. Solid. We probably it took us like probably okay, six minutes forty. I felt a lot longer than that, but it's apparently six minutes forty. I mean hey, if it's six minutes forty, it's six minutes forty. But that was the thirteenth level. I am going to try and look for the 14th. I think it's already on the other side of the map, actually. So, yeah, this is going really good. Thank you, Sheldon. And uh, this is that. We've got the Hero Splatling. The most fashionable gear is crafted with the latest in textiles technology. Well, I said that right? Textiles technology, yeah. Heating materials to produce smooth curves or distressing st uh, stiff fabrics to increase supplements and change their lo look are common techniques. That is the 13th scroll. I believe the 14th is on the very other side of the map, so until I can go find that, I shall see you guys in a bit. Okay, so I believe this is where the 14th uh, level is. Thank you. And we got another Sheldon's request here, so 
Wonder what it could be. It could be either two weapons. It's either the blaster or the octo brush. So, really do wonder what is Sheldon going to give us? What is it going to be, Sheldon? It's a sh oh, it's a charger. Never mind. All right, fine. I use this weapon then. Okay. Just gonna right forward. Oh, what's this? I can stand on this. Okay, well, does it really matter? I'm just gonna go all the way up. Pop, pop, pop. Okay, cool. Alright, so... Oh, I saw this in the trailer. I, but you don't really need to do that, so you can just do that instead. <laughs> oh. I can do that too. Alright. So... It doesn't seem like I see any signs of uh, where the Sidaniums can be. Or where the scrolls can be, so... Doing alright for now. Might as well just... Oh. Okay, I got four of them. Get all of that. I don't think there's uh, anything over here. Ooh. Octarians? Or Octolings, I should say. I mean, both the same thing, actually, but it doesn't matter. Alright, pick up this. Why not? Uh, just break all the boxes, just so I don't miss anything, but... Should be alright. Got an Octo Sniper on the other side. I can see him. And he looks like he's looking to do some sort. Yo, can I do that? Let me try this. All right, one second. Nope, it's not an Elia. <laughs> it's not an Elia. I wish, but no, I still can't reach. That's not fair. He has like, I I swear his range is going much farther than an Elia. That's not fair. Look how far his laser goes, dude. It's going all the way down there. It's like a elite 5k. It's not fair. I can't reach him. Hmm. Don't want to go too fast again, just to make sure I don't miss the scroll. I can't reach that. Okay. That was slick. As you know, Sheldon. Oh, sorry, dude. What the heck? Okay. This guy's shot's not too great, though. Luckily for us. But I do want to try and make it over there, so how do I do that? Hmm. How would I go about that, then? So I'll just keep going, just to check. Oh, God, he got me that time. Hey, look, a scroll. Oh, well, that was easy. <laughs> I kind of just fell into that, so... Get out of the way, please. Thank you. Alright. I'm getting close to him. Thank you. Jeez. That took a while. <laughs> Break this. Nothing inside there. Alright, so we've got the scroll. Now all we really need to find is the Sardanium. I bet you it's over there. No, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Because if it was over there, I would have been kind of sad because I had to go all the way back. And I'm not really prepared to do that. So. Just unlock the bridge. I assume we have to do this for all of them. Okay. That's a ticket, so I'm going to try and get that. It's going to help me a lot for multiplayer. I mean, it has... It doesn't help with you for single player, but multiplayer, yo, that's my that's that's stuff I need right there. I'm disrupted. Wow. Okay, that's a new addition to the single player. Okay, cool. I was about to say, how long is this gonna last for? Okay, so an octo disruptor, I assume. Don't wanna get hit by those things. All right. Where is anything? Oh, go for here. Go up. And I can chew all this stuff as well, yep. Goodbye, my friend. No, no, no. What? He did not die to that. I must have shot him like twice. Wait. Okay. Where can we go from here? Oh, yeah, we can just go for it. Oh, God. I messed up there. <laughs> Let me try again. 
Okay. Almost there. I was I was about to leap from No the ink! Damn it! Damn the smallest bit of uh, purple ink slowed down all my uh, momentum there, so I can go all the way through. It did it again! It did it again! Just that little bit of ink can stop all your momentum from just a jump. Okay. Let me just let me just clean this up. Okay, now I can do this. There we go. Jeez. That took longer than it needed to. Ooh, a rain cloud. Alright. Wow, the... That's pretty interesting. An octoling with a, uh... With a slusher. That's something new. Pretty cool that they have added that. You know, because... No reason at all. It'd be kind of cool if they had, were holding, like, 96 gals and stuff like that, or, like, 52 gals. I mean, honestly, the look of those weapons, it would make a lot of sense if they, what that was the case. Um, I have a key, but I don't know where to go. Where do I take this key? Um, wait, there's something I have... Uh, maybe there's something I had to go back for? No, I unlocked everything. Hmm. Is there a place I'm supposed to go? Okay, so one second, guys, just so I can figure out where I'm going. I'll, I'll I'll look for where I need to go. Oh, okay, found it, found it, found it, found it. Okay, this is where I needed to go. This grind rail will take me. Oh, I could have got like a collateral there. Too late, but it's alright. Um. There we go. That was uh, level 2. Or level 14. Or well, the second level we've played in this episode. And uh, now... It is... It just seems like it's just 14 that we have to go through. And then... After that... We should be all good to... Do... Face the boss. The latest research has produced startling revelations about it inking... Or inkling ink. Once thought to simply dis disappear after a while, Inkling Ink is actually rapidly disintegrating by airborne microbes. Okay. Stuff that makes literally no sense to me. But Sector 3, we've done all of this. Now we need to do this. Okay. Take us there, Sheldon. I mean, hurry. Well, I don't know why I said Sheldon, but it doesn't matter. Here we are. Doing this. More octolings, really? Okay. So it's an octoling battle. It seems like it. Oh. Those disruptors? Yeah, those are. I, I, that was a disruptor there. Uh, I'm not falling for that, friend. Okay, so. Yeah, there's like disruptors going off. That's really interesting. There's a curling bomb rush right there. And, uh, here's a key for something. Where is this gonna roll to? Hmm. Oh, man. Sorry, Octoling. I'm not having that. Okay, so... I th I guess the, the thing that we need to look for first... Is where in the world... That disruptor needs to go. Where in the world is the... What's it called? What is it called? Jeez. <laughs> Where is the scroll and the sardinium? It's the only thing I really want to find. You have octolings of carbon rollers out here. It's really cool. That like they're given different kinds of weapons and that. It doesn't seem like it... Oh god. It doesn't seem like the octolings are... Oh. In this level, it doesn't seem like I'd have to look for the... Uh, the scroll inside ink, which is a good sign, honestly, because... Wait, where is this, this, this disruptor? There we go. Oh. Please. Thank you. But this... Oh, wait, no. I, I might have to. Never mind. <laughs> I take all of that back. Okay. Just have to search around then. Okay. That shit's all the way at the top somewhere. So what I'll do is just, you know, look around. Get rid of that guy. 
I'll look around, just check if uh, any uh, sardaniums and scrolls are hiding and stuff. But if I can't find any, then um, oh wait, the scrolls right here. Okay, cool. Thanks. <laughs> so where's the sardinium then? It's pretty easy. Here is a disruptor. Sorry, I'm a competitive player. I know what I am. <laughs> oh, perfect. All right. So now what we need to do is just find every all the zapfish, which shouldn't be so hard to find because you can actually see them everywhere on the map. So, not even a problem. Thank you. Saved. I'll just get this guy over here. Get rid of the disruptor. Oh, never mind. I don't really need to get rid of them. A carbon roller with a splat bomb. What is that? What is that meta? Ooh, ticket. I'll take that. Kind of makes me want to search a little bit more just to see if I'm missing any any stuff. Okay. Hello. Spawning out of nowhere. And he fell off the map. Cool. <laughs> uh, where's the last... Oh, there's this... Oh, there's one up the way up there. Okay, let me go back up there. Alright. <laughs> I was not expecting that for a computer to actually just fall off the map like that. That was pretty amusing to me because it's just like you don't... It's, it's not the thing that you expect to happen. Oh! Oh! I'm not having that. That was actually one of the more powerful uh, Octolings too, so... It would be really scary if uh, you were to come across one of them that was actually holding a dynamo. It's just like, wow. <laughs> Look how much ink it's flinging at us. Just like, jeez, dude. This is like a final boss. <laughs> what? <laughs> Anyways, that was the Octoling fight. Now we can actually go to the boss kettle. Uh, I actually know where it is. And we got one of those uh, Krusty Sean uh, money ups tickets, so. Bus kettle. Let's go. Don't slip. Don't slip up and miss the new album by Wet Floor on sale now. Their, their style changes like the shifting tides of ink in a battle. Full color on. Full color or monochromatic. Uh, smooth or staccato, I, sorry, I can't say that word. Or lush and dripping with sound. It's rock for a new generation. So yeah, some words, they just don't agree with me. Like, I mean, uh, damn it. I mean, I guess there's one a little bit about myself and why I do struggle with uh, reading and uh, I guess saying, like, I guess really big words and stuff like that. I mean, not. Uh, I've never, I mean, personally, I've just never been really good at it. Like, I don't know if they're um, diagnosed with, I'm not, I guess, unlike, undiagnosed with something uh, to do with it. That's why I have, like, a difficulty with reading and stuff like that. But, you know, I do try my hardest. So, like, if you just, you're kind of watching this and you're just thinking, wow, why can't this 21-year-old fool read and, read and say words properly? It's just because, you know, I've just personally never been really good at it. And I've tried my hardest for a really long time. And I'm still trying to, you know, get things straight. But it's, just, it's hard. I don't know. It's hard to beat me. I'm really trying. So. I'm going to have to shoot this, aren't I? Yep. Sheldon has a request weapon, so. We're going to go in here. And face the third boss. Let's see. I wonder what this is actually. Here it is. Cool. Alright, well this is going to be quite cool if like the boss actually throws something at us. We can actually try and dodge its attacks. Oh, there's the tentacle. It's going to play the music like... Dun, 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 dun. Alright, let's do it. What are we facing? Oh! Familiar? He's back again. It's back, the Octo Stomp. He's back for a second time. So, 
for many of you guys who are Splatoon 1 veterans, you would re probably recognize this boss. This is the first boss in Splatoon 1. He is known as the Octo Stump. All you really have to do is just make sure you dodge his attacks and just... When he falls on his face, just try and get onto him. Oh, this is different. You never had that in the first game. And I brought a new Strenic! <laughs> a new car! <laughs> Alright, cool. Okay, this is different. Okay. Just dodge all of that. He's brought a coat with him. So where do I go to him? Hmm. I guess I just have to... Dodge into it? Hmm. I wonder what I do against that then. <clears throat> Throw a bomb. Come on, my friend. Do something. I don't know what to do against that. Hmm. Maybe I have to face him? Oh, he's getting his... Oh, oh. The minigun. <laughs> Ah, uh, uh. Don't want to die to that. Alright, so this is a completely different boss. So, I mean, at the start, it's just like, oh, okay, yeah, you just kind of do this and you do that. Nope. There's something I need to do, but I'm not too sure what that is yet. I'll figure it out. Maybe I have to go to the back of him? Hmm. Nope. I'm still confused, dude. I need to figure out how to take his sweat. Oh! Oh, okay. Now it makes sense. I need to figure out how to take his sweater coat off. So. There you go. Alright. Now we can, we can uh, progress. Oh, there we go. He's powerless now. Do something, my friend. Alright, cool. Now we can climb him. Sick. And that one's coming out of the back of him. Okay, so he has a bigger sweater. And he has three heads. Okay. This only gets a little bit more intense! Yo, okay. Wow, I can actually go down here. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm actually afraid to face him now. This ain't the, this ain't the first boss. I'm not going close to that. You're nuts. Jeez. Oh, God. Dude, this is terrifying. That is so terrifying. I want to be careful of that, dude. He's right above me. God damn it. <laughs> I'm so afraid to go close to him. If he just charged at me like that. It's just like... Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. He's... It's, it's possible to hit him now. Do something. Okay. Easy. Okay. Oh! Dude, that was terrifying! I thought this was just gonna be a simple boss, but... Look at that! The Octo Stomp... Stepped it up! Well, stomped it up. Meh? Yeah. That's a bad joke, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me pick up this fl this flute looking thing and just take this atmosphere away. <laughs> right. That was a good boss. That was a really good boss. I like that one. Agent 4, I would like to thank you again for all you've done so far. I think it's time that I told you about my other purpose in asking for your help. When we met, I told you I was searching for the great zapfish. But I'm afraid that's not the whole story. You see, 
Even more than the Great Zapfish, I want to find my cousin Callie. She vanished on the same day as the Great Zapfish. Wait, you already knew? Phew! Cool. So anyway, I'm Agent 2 of the new Squid Beak uh, Splatoon, and Callie is the agent. Then there's Agent 3, who's currently out of with Grandpa, Captain Cuttlefish. They won't be back for a while. I was supposed to be protecting Incopolis while the captain was away, but then Callie, the great zapfish. Sorry, I didn't tell you sooner. We'll be totally sunk without you, Agent Four. I think I read something wrong there, I'm sorry. I know we'll be I know we'll be I know we'll find Callie if we'll look we we keep looking. Think they can see this thing through. Lee? No. Leave now. Huh? Who's there? If you get in our way, Agent 4 will mess you up. That, I'm pretty sure she didn't say it like that, but... <laughs> I was really just focusing on getting everything right there. But, that was uh, the end of Sector 3. And we are going to be launching off onto Sector 4. Uh, which I will leave. For the next episode, so but first of all, how do I even get off this thing? Can I just make a jump? Whoa! On the rail. We're grinding now. But we are grinding the wrong way, so that was a great idea. <laughs> Damn. Alright, well. I think I'll leave this uh This is where I'll take my leave. I hope you guys actually have enjoyed this episode. I really did enjoy my time, uh, I guess, you know playing single player and all that type of stuff and in the next episode we'll head on to sector four however long that may be uh, i'm not too sure but you know if it's uh if i'm able to do all the levels in one episode then that'll be just the greatest thing wouldn't it not so anyways hope you guys have enjoyed this episode if you did please like favorite comment and subscribe to the channel if you have not already follow me on twitter and twitch both in the description below do it for both if you're feeling generous and as always, guys, this has been that SRB2 dude, and I will see you guys in another video.